Hi, uh, this is Alec Tech, the Center for Applied Mechatronics, and this is our advanced circuit project, the hydraulic tilt bed. Uh, my name is Cody Bankin, and I was the programmer for the PLC and getting the push buttons and everything put in it. Tom Yashglock, in charge of metal fabrication and team leader. Cody Bredesen, I did a lot of the design on the computer. I'm Nathan Zirith, I did the uh, hydraulic circuit and the mechanical engineering. So now we're here at our my solid works, what I worked on, pretty much to design the bed here. Um, this is a basic understanding of what we had going on before we put the power unit and battery in here. Um, we used all angle iron pretty much. These are the clevises down here that, we, that I uh, created. And then to get a more in-depth, this is pretty much the final um, drawing that I did. You know, you got the power unit down here and the battery and you have the lighting there which tells it when it's going up and this little guy right here is our like protection just in case if it ever fell and here's the cylinder and this is pretty much you know what it's going on Okay, this is our electrical schematic of the bed. Right here is the e-stop, and then that sends power to everything, like the reset push button and the alarm and the PLC. And then over here on the output side, we got a orange light, a red light, the retract solenoid, and the starter solenoid. Then when we go in here to the molar program, it's just all my lines of ladder logic there's uh, 19 different ones, and I did this in the Easy Soft program. All right. Well, when we first started our design, we had to figure out. We we assumed we were going to have a 300 pound load out here at the ed edge of the bed. That would be a worst case scenario. So then, with the uh, with the uh, mechanical advantage, uh, the load on the cylinder is actually close to 4,000 pounds. And this, this cylinder here has got an inch and three quarter bore, and that's capable of lifting up to 4,400 pounds at 2,500 PSI, which is what our little Halidex power unit here is capable of. And this will put out almost a full GPM, and it's fast enough to lift it up in 10, sec 10 seconds. Um. On to metal fabrication. We started by thinking that these hinges here would be enough with a quarter inch tab by two inches, but then we were wondering once we put all that force on there that it just bend over the tab. So we had to put angled iron on there and weld it tight. And another problem we ran into was this angle here from the bed of the weight of the bed coming down on the box spring would bend this. So we had to strengthen that up. And then our little other design change was these two angles right here. For the force to come down on the cylinder, it would have bent the frame. So then we had these supports come together so that it wouldn't bend it. Also, we welded casters on here so it would be able to move. We used quarter inch by two and a half inch angle all the way on the top frame and the bottom frame. We got two inch by quarter tabs for finger safety in case you had your finger here it would smash your hands. And then at the last minute we added a safety bar here in case you had to do something here with your pump or your program that your cylinder wouldn't kink. And then we added the stack light last. And now we're on to the presentation part of our project. We've got our awesome assistant here, Mr. James Wildman. And how it works is, is you press this green button like the night before you go to bed, and it's got a timer set for seven hours or eight hours, however long you want to sleep. And you press that before you go to bed, and then you press it like this. And I scaled it down for presentation reasons, so it's only set for a 10-second timer right now. 
and then when that goes, the stack light will turn red when the when it goes up like that, and then it's orange while it's snoozing. And I have it set for a 10 second snooze right now, and it'll go through this three stages. And as you can see, the assistant is having a hard time staying on the bed. I should have one more time to go. And there you go. Then after you roll out of bed, to reset the whole operation, you come over here and you hold this red button down like this. Press down, and then it's like that. And then it's ready for the next night. All you need to do is push the green button again. And this other button right here, it acts as an e-stop if something were ever to happen, and it sh it'll shut the power off to the whole bed and the PLC.